A major matchup to open up Friday night football in Minnesota tonight. Barnesville versus DGF. The Trojans with a dominant home winning record and the Rebels aiming for their best season yet. Always a highly contested matchup with the Trojans with the bragging rights from last year. They get to work adding to it tonight. Second quarter, their stud running back from last year is out with an injury, but you wouldn't be able to tell. Senior Brady Martz is breaking down the far side for the 24-yard touchdown and the first score of the game still in the second. A schoolyard handoff from Caleb Stetz to Martz here. Martz using his blockers and weaving his way up the middle till he cuts hard to the near side and steals the edge into the end zone on a 37-yard touchdown, taking a cameraman down with him as he goes. Trojans up 12-0. Second half now, more from Martz. From 15 yards out, this boy working for his dinner as he dodges the Rebels coming at him, breaks through for another six. Extra point is good, and it's 19-0 Trojans. Rebels on the board in the third quarter now. From eight yards out, Stephen Taves breaks in up the middle. 19-7 ball game, but the Trojans add another in the fourth. Yep, you guessed it, more from Martz as Barnesville defends their home turf with a 27-14 win and... For more, we head out to Barnesville now where Alex Egan has more on tonight's game. Hey, good evening there, Beth. Yeah, normally when we're talking about Barnesville and the running back that they have, we're talking about a Brady, and that's Brady Tweeten. He had 1,900 yards last year to lead the Trojans into a U.S. Bank Stadium appearance in the state playoffs. But tonight it was all about Brady Martz, another senior running back. He had four rushing touchdowns in the game, and he also got a lion's share of the carries. It gave Barnesville improving to 52-1 and at home since 2007. Barnesville led 12-0 at the, the end of the first half, and they were able to continue to pour it on in the second half, tacking on 15 more while relinquishing the 14 points to DGF. I caught up with Barnesville head coach Brian Strand after the game, and he said the momentum was always on their side. He never felt like the Rebels could wrestle it away from them. D, uh, Barnesville, excuse me, was able to recover a few fumbles and they were also able to recover an onside kick in the second half. And that just kept the Rebels guessing every play all tonight. But the story in this one, it was all about that senior running back and his four touchdowns, and that is Brady Martz. You know, Brady ran extremely hard, but you know what? Offensive line blocked pretty well, too. You know, again, we've got feeding Brady because it that was that was working for us. But again, uh, the, the entire team played very, very well. It's a great win for us. You no, know, helped. We had a good line today. They did their jobs. They helped block for me. And when you have a good line helping you, it makes things easy. I also heard from Mart that he said it will be much. It will be exciting when him and Brady Tweeten are back on the field together, and that should be here in the next four weeks. Barnesville improves to 1-0. and They are on a bye next week as they were scheduled to play Frazee, but Frazee has scrapped their varsity football season this year, and DGF at 0-1 will have another road game at East Grand Forks, looking to get in the win column for the first time. Again, Barnesville now 52-1 and at home since 2007 and starting 2017 out on the right foot as well with that 27-14 to win here tonight over DGF and uh, we'd like to thank the Barnesville Athletic Department for giving us the Motel 6 treatment and leaving the lights on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to rain. This is becoming a bad habit for us here during this Valley News Live game of the week, but we have another game of the week in the books. Let's send it back to our Fargo studios live in Barnesville. I'm Alex Egan. Beth.